modular external fixator. This exercise depicts the application of the tubular external fixator on the tibia. Here you see the four basic elements of the external fixator. The adjustable clamp, Steinman pen, tubes of different lengths, and a Schantz screw, 4.5 millimeters with short thread. The single adjustable clamp fixed on the tube allows free placement of the Schantz screw. The instruments you need are a small air drill and long drill bits, 4.5 and 3.5 millimeters. The triple assembly of trocar and two drill sleeves in a long and short version. A universal chuck with T-handle, a socket wrench, or a combination wrench. The following standard configurations are presented. The unilateral sagittal fixator and its dynamization. The double tube unilateral fixator and its dynamization. The V-shaped unilateral fixator. Secondary corrections with the tube to tube clamps and three short tubes. and the fixator for fragment transports. The first exercise is the construction of a single tube unilateral fixator. The fracture is reduced and the bone mounted in the vice grip. The short drill sleeves with trocar are inserted through a small stab incision about two centimeters distally from the tibial tuberosity. Remove the trocar. Using the air drill and a long 3.5 millimeter bit, drill through both cortices. Take out the inner sleeve and overdrill the nearer cortex with a 4.5 millimeter bit. Length is then measured through the drill sleeve using the special depth gauge. The nut is fixed at the corresponding depth and the shunt screw positioned at correct depth in the chuck. The first shunt screw is now inserted through the five millimeter drill sleeve. When the chuck butts the sleeve, the shunt screw has the correct length. Remove the drill sleeve. Insert the second shunt screw through a small stab incision five centimeters above the ankle joint avoiding the tendon of the anterior tibial muscle, which lies slightly lateral to the tibial crest at this level. A tube of appropriate length with four mounted single adjustable clamps is now mounted onto the two Schantz screws. Tighten the adjustable clamps on the tube. The tube is parallel to the tibial crest at a distance of two to three centimeters. Drill the first of the two inner holes through the adjustable clamp using the two drill sleeves and a 3.5 millimeter drill bit. The nearer cortex is over drilled 4.5 millimeters. Measure the length and introduce a Schantz screw to the appropriate depth. The fourth Sean screw is in Tube to tube external fixator for secondary correction. Introduce two Sean screws into the proximal fragment according to the soft tissue situation.
The short tube with two adjustable clamps is mounted onto the two shunts screws. A second short tube is fixed to the two distal shunts screws, which are placed without regard to alignment. Any type of rotational, axial, or length correction can now be achieved, connecting the two short tubes by a third tube with two tube-to-tube -tube clamps. Corrections are made by the operator holding the two tubes while the assistant is holding the interconnecting tube. After correct reduction of the fracture or osteotomy, the assistant tightens the screw of each tube-to-tube -tube clamp.